guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Fred. So today uh, we're going to make the little spacer for the uh, worm drive. Um, a couple days ago, I got the uh, I got the litter box. Got it all welded up. Some standoffs in here where the top plate gets uh, put down. So we've got that done. Uh, yeah, I made a big bozo move uh, the other day. I had my small vernier. Now I went out and had to buy a big 12 inch vernier. Uh, and I was just moving stuff and the uh, gear fell on top of the crystal display here. LCD display cracked it. So I was in a crunch, had to go back to Busy B Tool. Same day, get another vernier. I looked for the small 8 inch vernier, but they didn't have any in stock. I got one on order, so it should be in here on Thursday. So I'm going to be a little more careful with this. I'm going to set this over there. Hang on. So again, the job for today is to make the little spacer for the uh, worm gear. And I got a piece in the um, in the lathe. Uh, I have, like I said, I had lots of pieces. Um, got it all set up. I had to move the jaws, reverse the jaws on the uh, chuck. So let's get to the lathe. Hang in there. Okay, guys, we're back. I have to every time I have to move from one tripod to another, I have to change the base on the camera. So I'm going to turn this down to uh, what was that measurement? I wrote it down here somewhere. Oh, let's remeasure. Just a little over three inches here. So three fifty, uh, three inch, five five hundred thousand. So three and a half inches. So what do we got here now? Let me see. Got an inch to take off. All right, let's get to her. I got a little bit of a blast shield here because every time I do aluminum, the stuff flies all over the damn place, so, all right, let's get on with it. Two fifty has to come off it. Slowly. Yeah. 
349. That's good enough. All right. Okay. Now we're going to take out the inside. I do some measurements and I'll come back. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can see it. I got. I, I had to move the um, boring bar in. It was vibrating too much. So uh, at least you can see or, or the ridge. I just kind of marked it with the end of the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, boring bar, just to give me a reference. So uh, let's carry on. I'm going to be doing some. Kind of Okay, that'll fit. All right, I'm just gonna leave the camera here. Okay, guys, back. I, uh, I had to plug in the uh, power cord for the camera. All right, so that's, uh, another three five deep we have to go. That's about it for that. All right, I'm gonna measure it on the uh, gear drive. Okay, we've got the pocket down to size. I'm gonna take off the rest of this material, uh, clean it up on the front face, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, we've got everything uh, cut to size now. Just gonna face it off and uh, we're gonna call it the day. All right, hang in there. Chain for that edge. Break this edge here, it's sharp. Wrap. 
Okay, guys, we're back. So, uh, got the spacer done finally. Uh, fits in there. No play. I like it. Uh, I just got to go four holes that secure it down, and then another four holes on the uh, on this side here. Just tap it. There's going to be through holes, with countersink bolts, and there's going to be four holes where that will mount to the to the plate like that. And the rod will go through and turn, uh, we'll turn the small, the small gear. I still have to uh, mill some, uh, some keyways for the shaft here. Uh, where is it? Uh, right here. So, got to mill some keyways for that. And uh, I might have to put a spacer on that. Because this thing here needs the two inches. So, yeah, put a little bushing on here uh, and then put the keyway here, put a bolt on the end for the uh, down to the worm gear. Anyways, guys, that's it for tonight or today. Um, let's say thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to all my new subscribers. And you guys hang in there. Take care. Bye for now.